Welcome back. It's Jean again. Mwah. Thank you so much for stopping by. This topic was requested by Pamela. She wanted me to talk about what she calls is the duality of the law of attraction. And she says a lot of people get hung up on not resolving their negative issues and saying that they cannot attract positive things because of negative things in their life negative things in their past and this type of pattern of thinking and I'm gonna call it the constant karma loop and what this means is you don't feel like you are worthy of the positive and wonderful things in the law of attraction world because whatever for instance oh bad things keep happening to me because I did so and so or I'm not a good person so I don't deserve whatever uh, here's a good example um, I stole someone's bike I didn't it's an example it happened to me but I stole someone's bike when I was 10 and because I stole that person's bike I'm a bad person so I don't deserve to have positive material things such as a nice house in my life or I treated so and so badly so I'm a bad person so bad things keep happening to me and the point that I would like to make and I think is on the wavelength of Pamela is you have to learn how to deal with something heal it and move on constantly going over and over and over something and trying to repair the same thing over and over is this constant karma loop that you think you're in in this negativity you feed back into a circle over and over so what we're trying to point is to make is deal with the issue that you have so if you stole a bike when you were 10 you can ask for forgiveness from that person you can accept it was something you did when you were 10 and move on repair it seek counseling spiritual guidance and then forgive yourself heal that problem move on and then decide I do deserve a good life I do deserve to have a nice car and it was a mistake and it's something you can learn from knowing that you took from someone else and hurt them is a lesson that you can learn from or if someone did bad things to you you can learn how to take that feeling of the negativity the traumatic experience use it to strengthen yourself be a better person, be supportive for someone else going through the same problem, and then move on. You know, heal it, forgive it, understand it, learn from it, move on, and accept it. Accept that you're worth it. Now, if you do things constantly because you're amused of hurting people, that's a totally different subject, and you do need help with that. Because if you do constantly hurt someone and you do seek enjoyment, that is a mental problem and it most certainly will be a block of having a good life and a good experience and moving on to the higher level of being a better human being. So, this being said, this was just a short video for Pamela. She wanted help to explain and help people realize you need to heal, deal, learn, and move on. This way, you don't have to constantly waste your time and energy on repairing the same thing over and over. You can't repair it if you keep hashing it over and going over and over it. You have to learn to move on. You have to find a way to deal with it and go on. Um, let's see. I'm thinking of something that I did that was bad that maybe I would hang on to. When I was 10, <laughs> um, I have always been someone that loved and shared with and supported everyone in my whole life no matter what you are if you were a nerd a geek you were ugly fat poor whatever skinny you know special in some kind of way I was your champion I was the one that would always hang in there and defend you and be your best friend but there was one time when I was 10 when I was really hateful to a boy in my class and that stayed with me for a very long time and I saw him one day in a uh, public shopping center and I asked for his forgiveness and I told him how bad that made me feel all these years whether he remembered it or not or he just thought it was awkward because it was a childhood thing I don't know he was really shocked so I'm not sure he remembered it but it gave me relief because I carried that around with me because that's not who I am so being able to express my 
my remorse and how I felt about treating someone so bad, even as a child, helped me release it, heal it, and move past it. And I learned from that experience. I learned it felt bad to be mean to someone and to hurt someone else. And what I can do not to ever do it again and to make sure that people around me would not have to deal with the same situation. Now, it got me a lot of trouble being someone's champion, especially in my jobs. But honestly, it's worth it because if you're working or you're in the environment where negativity is supported, it is something for you to take a hard look at and move on. So it helps. I hope this helps you and explains a little bit about karma uh, the Law of Attraction, Duality. If you have any questions, you can ask me in my group here on YouTube, Twitter, or Facebook. Uh, or you can go to Pamela's page. I'm going to try to link her in here somehow. I'm not sure. I still I don't know how to edit or do any of this on YouTube. But my group is facebook.com forward slash groups with an S forward slash ask Jean with a J all in one word. Or you can, of course, find me here on YouTube at Yin Moon One. So um, Twitter is Jeans Pet Rock, all one word. And I hope this helps. Thank you so much. I'm sending love to you. Send it back to me. I'm thinking of you, and I care about you. And anything else you want me to make a video on, or you have questions, please let me know. Thanks. Bye.